This has been a season of first for the Kentucky football team, and make no mistake about it, they understand the significance of this game. Kentucky has never won a bowl game in the state of Florida, and when I sat down with Mark Stoops last week, he was well aware of that fact. The Cats are chasing a 10th victory in the Citrus Bowl, a feat that's only been done twice in the history of the program. 1950, when a guy by the name of Paul Bear Bryant was coaching, and in 1977, in that season, one of those wins came against Penn State. Touchdown for Ramsey. It, it'll mean a great deal, uh, first and foremost for us, for, for 10 victories. Um, that's important. There's something about 10 that that's, uh, has a nice ring to it, and like we'd like to continue to improve on that as well as we move forward. Uh, but beating Penn State, uh, a team with that kind of history, uh, it is significant. When did you realize, the moment that you realized that this team could be special? I knew going into it, I knew going into the year. If you think back to the summer, um, you know, I'm not sure about the local media as much, but I know national media didn't give us a lot of respect and, and going into SEC media days and going down there, I felt confident. And the reason I felt confident is because I knew what was going on behind closed doors. I knew what was happening with this team and how they were working, the experience that we had. In your mind, how have you grown as a head coach over this time? In a lot of ways, there, there's so much to it. And, uh, you know, it just, the volume is probably something that, that can be overwhelming at, at times. Stoops admits the job he holds is all consuming. 24 7. How do you keep things in perspective? How do you kind of get away from this? You know, I try to keep everything in perspective and try not to learn that from my brother Bob years ago. You know, try not to get too high and not try not to get too low. And that's difficult in this business because the highs are very high and the lows are extremely low. So you just got to stay the course, stay steady, uh, continue to make sure your program and, and the organization is moving in the right direction. And that's really what your focus is. Uh, you know, uh, when you're here. And obviously you try to separate that, go home and be with your family and your kids and your wife, and that, that uh, will keep things in perspective, but uh, the wheels never stop turning.